So I've shown you how to take the Summit ADF application, upload it to the developer cloud service, and use the Git repository over there to manage versions of your files, branching, etc. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to actually use the build feature. So this is basically allowing you to automate builds of your application, and you can do it either with Maven or with Ant, and I'm going to use Ant for now. So to do that, let's start by going into JDeveloper and actually doing a checkout of the master node into the my work directory. So now we have the latest version of our application here. In order to enable you to build on the cloud, you need to create and build files. So one way to do it, you go to the new, and from the gallery, under end, you have the build file from application. Choose this one, give it a name. I'm using the default name here, build XML, and there will be two files created for you, build XML and build properties. Okay. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to set those files up so they'll actually match the installation that is on the cloud. So on the cloud, there's actually a JDeveloper installation that you get, which allows you to execute build files using, for example, the OJ deploy functionality that comes with JDeveloper. So right now, you can see those three entries up here are referring the, to the local installation of my JDeveloper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy a different set of properties over here um, and just paste them instead of those three and you'll get a few more lines. Okay, so we still define the commons, the deer and where the Oracle home is, but we're using um, a more relative solution uh, location to the cloud as well as a bunch of uh, environment variables that are used to define locations on the cloud. Um, there's a few things that uh, you would need to change, for example, the name of your JWS file, uh, your application file, so mine is actually called uh, Summit ADF. Right? And again, there's things like where the middleware is installed, where's the workspace, where's the Ant library, uh, which directory do I want to deploy to, okay? and uh, where is the OJ deploy located, and again, name of your uh, project as well as um, the location of where you want to deploy to. So again, over here, I'm going to replace this with Summit ADF. Okay, and a few parameters for the build. Then, in the build file itself, we're going to add a new target. So again, picking up this target entry over here. We're going to put it right after the properties and very importantly there's one more line of properties that you need to define which says that we're using the environment variable so we'll put this as the first line of our build okay so here we basically have one target called deploy that is going to use OJ deploy to deploy our application and create the yield file right so let's save this okay we have two new files that were added as candidates to our Git repository, so let's actually add them. And then let's commit those two. And then let's push this up to our Git repository. Right, let's switch over to our cloud console and go over to our home. And we see that the build files have been added. We can verify it by going to the code. And those two build files should be here, basically at the top directory. So now we can actually go and define a new build um, job. Okay, so there's a simple one for Maven. As, uh, as I said, we're going to create a new job that is actually going to use um, Ant. So we'll call it the summit build and we'll, it can be based on an existing job I'm going to create a new one 
and then you can start by deciding which JDK we're using I'm using JDK 7 in this case and then define various options so for example we want to say that we are using the git source management and we can have the URL for our git sorry um, if you didn't copy it before you might want to do it now uh, so just go home copy this build and let's configure this we're over here the URL to the git okay. uh, you can use branches and things like that okay. um, and then we're going to say um, some things about the build itself Okay, so we're going to add a build step, which will invoke ant. Again, it can invoke Maven instead, or external shell. And the target that we're going to invoke is the deploy target that we just added to the build XML. The build file is called build.xml. Okay, you can specify the complete path. Any properties or Java options that you might want to have, as well as post-build actions that you might want to execute. We don't need any of those. At this stage, we can click Save, and that's our build. Okay, and we can then click the Build Now. Okay, so this is actually queuing our build, and we can track it by going over here, and we can say that uh, see that it's queued for execution. At some point, the developer cloud service is going to pick it up and start executing the build. And when it's done, you can see the results over here. So right now our build actually failed, okay? Uh, and we can just click here to see the log. And we can see that the deploy target doesn't seem to exist there. It might be because, yeah, it's all lowercase. So let's go and fix our build. Save the changes. Let's do another build. And this time we can see the tower build actually finished in a good way. Let's look at the log now. You can see all the process, the OJ deploy. Right, and the resulting file will be over here the summit ADF application here file. So one more thing that you can do for a build, which would be interesting, actually if you go into the configuration here, is you can actually automate the execution of builds. Okay. Uh, it can be on various events or based on timing. Okay. One unique aspect is the ability to integrate it with your Git repository. So basically, if we want, for example, each time that someone checks something into our Git repository to automatically fire a build, we can provide a schedule here. Now, the schedule is provided as a cron syntax, so I'm just going to use um, this syntax, which basically means every one minute, go and check if there's a new um, transaction in our Git repository. Let's click Save. Okay, let's go back into JDeveloper. Let's modify something in our uh, build file. Okay, I'll actually in the build properties, just so we'll have something to check in. Save this. Edit. Commit this. and push it to the server. So now that we checked it in, within a minute, a build would be automatically created and executed for us. So if we go back to the home, we can see that this has just been checked in. 
and now we need to wait a minute we're going to do a cat scene in our video as you can see within a minute we automatically created a build and it was executed successfully